Hello, Mancer. Hello. I talked to Scott's ex-wife. So? What did she say? It's an awful story. Her son... Anyway, their son was struck by mutation. They took him away from them, of course, but it made Scott go crazy. And he was convinced that he could find a remedy. He asked for your father's help. So they left together, and were gone for a long time. Their exploration apparently didn't lead to anything concrete for the boy, and Scott descended into madness. And then one day, Mark left. His ex thinks that it was to bring back something useful for his research, and he never came back. Shit. So my father's disappearance is related to that poor kid? It's really awful what they must have gone through. That explains a lot about why he's so crazy, and also why he behaves as if we were his kids. Thank you, Zack. That doesn't answer all my questions, far from it. But I have a better grasp of what happened. My father disappeared by helping his best friend, who was going through a rough patch and wanted to heal his child. It's a sad but beautiful story, isn't it? I'm gonna... I'm gonna think about all this. Thank you again. You're not like other girls, are you? Is that supposed to be a compliment? Or are you being a wise ass? You just... don't talk like the rest. I drive a rover. I don't sit around sipping brightly colored drinks with brainiacs talking about the philosophies of life. You don't like the way I talk? Take a number and shove it up your educated ass. Take any one of them uppity shits and put them in a rover, driving through sandstorms and seeing crazy shit every fucking day, and tell me they won't start talking a little more colorfully. Easy, killer. I'm not judging you. It doesn't bother me. I was just saying. You were a fucking rogue before, so unless the army made you soft and... Sorry. Just a little defensive. I hear that shit a lot. <laughs> 